Hey there, SolidWorks community and Deadpool lovers. Welcome to part three of our four-part series where we are redesigning the regenerating degenerate's head as a sharp tool holder. Up to this point, we've successfully imported a mesh of Deadpool's bust as a solid into SolidWorks, scaled it to the desired size, and simplified the top of the skull a bit. Now, with all of our reference planes laid out, let's start adding the slots in the top of his head for our various tools. We'll start simple by sketching on this top horizontal reference plane, and I'll draw a center point rectangle centered on the origin of the part. This is designed to hold the sharp scraper I use for removing 3D printed parts from the print bed, so I'm setting it to 0.08 inches thick by 2 inches long. Exit the sketch and navigate to the Extruded Cut tool in the Features tab of the Command Manager, and let's do a simple blind extrusion 3 inches deep. Now let's create a bunch of wells for drill bits. Sketching on this angled plane on the left side of his head, I'm creating several center point circles, just eyeballing their position along the outer contour of Deadpool's head. I'm setting their diameters to be 0.02 inches larger than some standard drill bit sizes, ranging from 1 quarter inch down to 1 16th of an inch. Exit the sketch, navigate to the Extruded Cut tool again. This time in the drop-down under the From section, let's select Surface Face Plane and select the top surface of the head. This is the reason I simplified surfaces on the top of Deadpool's head. This single surface was originally made up of hundreds of triangular surfaces, which would have made this extrusion option impossible. But now I can use this From Surface option, which allows me to easily control the depth of each drill bit hole. So here I'm going to set the depth to 1 inch and click OK. Just keep in mind, when you use the From Surface option, the terminating face of the extrusion will also have a shape similar to the surface you selected to reference. Now, sketching on the angled plane toward the front of the head, create a few larger, randomly positioned circles, one on each half of the head. Again, using the extruded cut tool with the From Surface Face Plane option selected, I want to reference the top surfaces as the start of the cut. But the top of the head is split into two surfaces, so we'll need to create these two wells in separate features. Here under Selected Contours, let's first select the circle we sketched on the left side of Deadpool's head, then select that side's top surface and create a 2.5 inch deep cut. Now repeat that operation for the right side, making another 2.5 inch deep cut. These two wells will hold a few of my commonly used hobby knives. Now sketching on the angled plane on the right side of the head, I'm going to create several sketches for wells that will hold various shaped small files, including a round, a square, a few rectangular, a triangular, and a half circle. Exit the sketch and create another extruded cut from this top surface, two and an eighth inches deep. Lastly, sketching on the top horizontal surface again, I'll create a few smaller holes dimensioned to 0.175 inches to create a few more extruded cuts for holding small screwdrivers. Alright, I have all of the wells built into Deadpool's head for holding a bunch of my favorite sharp tools. 
Stay tuned for the fourth and final part of the series where we'll add a bit more detail to the well areas and we'll hollow out the bottom of the bust in preparation for 3D printing.